What's up, guys? How's it going? I already just won back with yet another amazing video. And I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know that today is the third day to my challenge. And I actually feel great. I um, just got off of work. I'm heading to the house now. About to go home, take a nice shower, eat something, probably go run for a little while and just relax and wind down and take it easy. But with that being said, so today is my third day to this challenge, quitting a vape for 30 days. And I feel like I know the challenge is still fresh. I know it's only the third day of the challenge, but I feel really healthy and I feel motivated to want to do more positive things in my life that's going to push me to live the way that I want to live. And the fact that I've been building this self-discipline has really gave me a grasp on how people should look at life. The way that I think people should look at life is every moment, every point of time that you have you're either allowing yourself to grow create or disintegrate in an instance it's something that Bob Proctor said a while back I heard a video he said I'm not sure what the first thing he said but the second thing that I remember him saying was create or disintegrate and it's either you gonna grow or you gonna know either you gonna go up or you gonna go down so if you're not going up obviously you going down and if you just sit and take the time to build your self-discipline and you see how much your knowledge can go up and how prepared it makes you for the outside world when you go out and you are going through these day-to-day -day situations, it helps you prepare for those situations to where you can handle things accordingly how you need to be able to handle them. And with that being said, the more that I write, because I know I was talking about reading in my, I think it might have been my last video, but I know I was talking about reading in my last video how it furthers your knowledge. It gives you more of a grasp on how to use your vocabulary. But the more that you write, as well as reading it helps you better use your vocabulary in sentences it helps you um it helps you build the way that your brain functions i'm not sure because i haven't really got deeply into it so i can't really give you the um the literal definitions but i can tell you that i know for a fact that it most definitely will help you build when you use self-discipline and you work on growing that self-discipline so you can grow yourself, so you can grow your mindsets, so you can grow in your activities, so you can grow your goals, so you can just aim bigger and be able to achieve more. And with that being said, I do everything in my power to focus, but I'm not perfect. And I know that you're not perfect either. So when we slack, I'm not gonna say it's okay to slack, but I'm not gonna say that slacking doesn't happen. So when we slack, we gotta understand that if you don't take the time to pick it up right then and there, you'll forever, you'll, you'll prolong this action of picking it up and getting on track of what you need to be doing. And I mean just think about it. You get self-discipline, you get away from the from the bad things that you're surrounding yourself with. You let go of the distractions and you start to have a better a more healthier life. You can ride and just be having fun, just chilling by yourself doing whatever your favorite thing is doing. But by yourself, you don't need a group of friends that aren't even really your friends, that aren't even really trying to build your education. You need to surround yourself with people that want to do better, 
that want to build, that want to grow, that want to get smarter, that want to gain more knowledge. I mean, why waste our time on this earth if we got a limited amount of time? I know we got a lot of time on this world, but at the same time, we have a limited amount of time on this world. So we really don't have a lot of time on this world if we waste it, if we use it for senseless things in this life. Why run around trying to do things that aren't going to give us any type of benefit? Um, I look for beneficial things when I look for relationships. And you can also have things that are calm and relaxing stress relieving but you also need to know how to be able to build you got to want to build you got to want to grow and with that being said the more that you work on your self-discipline the more you can grow into achieving the way that you want to achieve accomplishing the way that you want to accomplish and what i mean by that is you can actually do the things that you want to do instead of just saying them and then never carrying out these plans that you have. And with with any goal, with anything, with anything that you want to do in this life, first comes planning. First, you have to plan what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And when you start off with a plan, and you take one step to that plan, that's your base to carrying out that plan. And once you once you start off on that base, it's like you already did it. You already set it up. You already begun. So it's no going back. And when you do continue to go back, you never reach your goals. So if y'all want to reach our goals, get good plans, build them to become better plans, and carry each plan out. Specifically, each plan. Carry each plan out. And later on down the line, we're going to get with each other. I might get with a couple of y'all and have y'all come and, and we make a podcast or we have like a, um, like a documentary on self-discipline journeys. And we can see how far we can go together as a team. Let's build. You feel me? Let's do it. Why not? Why sit and soak in failure when we could be the greatest beings in the world, which we actually were created to be? I mean, the time is here. The time is now. It's up to us. We can do it. You just got to actually put your mind to it and know that you can do it. You got to have a... A fond imagination of I can do if I believe I can do, I will achieve. But a lot of people don't have that. But it's okay because we're going to work on that. So, yeah, everything going good. Vape, quit, three days, going real good. Finna go eat healthy, been eating healthy, focus, working out more more discipline, uh, clearer mindset. So it's going real good. I actually like this journey. I'm glad that I started this and I'm glad that I can come and share this with you. Um, remember, it's love to everyone. I appreciate you for who all um, like, comment, and subscribe and share my content um, via social media or however you see to share my content. I truly do appreciate it. Um, I will be coming back with another video tomorrow on my day four to this quitting this vape challenge, and we'll see how it unfolds. All right, y'all have a good blessed, um, rest of your day, and Outrageous One out.